So for instance, this building, which is a, uh, a, a, a pretty wild project um, by some incredibly talented people that I happen to be lucky enough to become involved with, <laughs> um, is, uh, is a cruise terminal in, in Hong Kong it's got a, as you can see, it has a, a rooftop garden. It integrates nature through the building. And then you look at the little images to the right side of the screen, uh, you see, um, and these are these, the artist's rendering, obviously they're very, they're very hazy dream, dreamscape-like uh, renderings. But you can see how we worked hard to bring light through the building. We, we, we worked hard to make sure that nature could uh, you know, live on all levels of the building, all the way through it. Um, so we needed an incredibly large infrastructure for this project because it's a half mile long building. Um, it's a, it's a, um, it's between one and two billion dollars construction uh, nine years ago, wow. and it was pretty, you know, pretty phenomenal. It's actually. Uh, you know, Hong Kong, if everybody uh, knows a bit about Hong Kong, it's a very vertical, very dense city. And so I always like to say that this is the world's tallest building on its side. Because <laughs> we took Hong Kong and we went like, no, this, is, this can't be tall, right? It has to allow two of the largest cruise ships anywhere on the planet to dock there. And uh, 5,000 passengers in one and 5,000 in another get off the building and out the door in 45 minutes. And so that it has very, very cool qualities to it and very uh, critical functional programmatic elements. What might be interesting from your point of view of everybody on the call is that the, the cruise ships come and the cruise ships go. So when there's no cruise ship here or two, um, that the building doesn't have a function, right? Like there's no cruise ship. So nobody's, you're not going in the cruise terminal if you're not getting on the ship. Unless, as we realized with cruise terminal design, unless you have another use. So this building is also designed to be a pretty darn good exhibition space when needed. So when there's no cruise ship, um, there can be all kinds of exhibitions in the space which has some of the issues that are, are present with artwork exhibition. You know, quality of light, uh, as Dennis mentioned, you know, infrared and ultraviolet, uh, that could be a concern. So this building has a, the ability to, uh, you know, serve different needs, sort of radically shift in terms of how it responds to what's happening inside it. So probably what makes it fairly, fairly pricey other than just that it's a, a, a big building on the waterfront there.